Hey, what's going on everybody? Today's video is a special video for my Portfolio Builder students. This is a brand new course I just launched. If you haven't seen it yet, there's a link below where you can check out details and join if you're interested in helping build your portfolio, get your resume all set up so you can land that killer job. Or if you're a freelancer and you're trying to refine your, your portfolio to land better work, it's a great course for that too. So for today's video, this is for those new students, but stick around, there's a lot of great stuff I wanna show you. So if you're anything like me, when you go to start a new document with Photoshop or Illustrator or InDesign, you just kinda of breeze through it. So when you just jump in, for example, we'll jump in here and I'm just gonna go ahead and hit Command N like I always do. I'm gonna get ready to start my new document and for whatever reason, it takes forever these days. There we go, okay. I would jump in here, I'd dial in my settings and I'd click create without thinking anything of it. But I wanna show you a feature that you're probably overlooking like I am. So right across the top, we have these templates. You've seen this before, probably. I've talked about it in other videos. But one thing that we breeze by is that if we actually scroll down, we have a bunch of free templates from Photoshop. So this is a special video, again, for those portfolio students, especially shout out to Gina. I know you're doing some book covers. This one's for you. So. If we jump into the print document tab up here and we scroll down, I see I've got the font or the front and back book template. So if I click on that and I'll be able to download it, I've already done this. So you'll see a download button. And then over here I can see preview or just click the open button once it's been downloaded. So I'll click on that and I'm going to go ahead and link this file to my Dropbox link. You can see the link below because Photoshop changes, Adobe changes things all the time. So I just wanna make sure that you can follow along. So check the Dropbox link if you don't see this at the end, at the welcome screen. But what you can do with this template now is use this to build your portfolio with beautiful images and it'll go real fast. So let's just dive into this book cover for one. So I've got the move tool selected by hitting letter V. It's up here. And at the top in the options bar, I've got it checked by default to auto select the layer, not the group, but the actual layer. So that way I can click into any object and you'll see it'll jump to that object in my layers file. Uh, if you're not seeing the same screen as I am, I'm gonna go ahead and hit reset on my essentials workspace. And then I'm gonna grab his layers tab and just pull it out so we can see everything. So anyway, now we're looking at pretty much the same thing. I can see all these files. And what I'm gonna do is I can see your image here. So they've got some different smart objects in here. Let's turn this on. Okay, so they've got another one. So this image is actually above, just cleanly above where this image below has a highlight and a shadow applied to add some depth, which is great. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna jump into this smart object by double clicking on this icon itself, not the title, but the icon. I'm gonna turn off these fonts. I'm gonna add my own image from my own image library here from my graphic design bootcamp artwork that I've got going on. All right, and then I'm gonna grab this background. I'm just gonna click on it and I'll change the color. I'm gonna hit the eyedropper tool, hit I for the eyedropper tool. I'll click right in here and then come over to my uh, color swatch and just add a little bit of a darker shade to it. I'll hit option delete to fill it or come up here to edit down to fill. And then I'm gonna change this border to match this lighter color. So with my uh, what is that thing called? The eyedropper tool. We'll click right there on the light again and we'll hit option delete to fill the border. I'll save it. I'll close it. And now it's automatically updated on my book cover. It was so fast. So now what I can do is get my selection tool again and change it from auto select layer to group. And I can just click and drag and I could throw this book anywhere. I could throw it into uh, you know, a new document if I'm making a web banner or maybe you're working in WordPress and you want it to be the featured image. So maybe you've got a set size or maybe you're adding it as a product on your website. So you could grab this and throw it right into whatever document you have and you're basically done. So same thing for the back. I don't need to go through it. You guys get this get the general idea, but uh, just jump in there and you could change things. And if I look through the file structure too, I can see I've got the spine color up here. It's, it's just a subtle detail. And then we've got this yellow stroke. So I could change that to fill. We'll just fill it with the blue, that slate blue, whatever it's called, gray, whatever. Um, and you can see it changes that to match. So anyway, there's one, there's one of many files you guys could use. So if I come back up here, I don't have to go all the way back to, I don't have to close this. I can just come back up to file down to new to get that new document window again. And I could open up another template. So there's some really, really good templates in here. You guys, if I come over here to print in this print tab and I scroll down, there are some aluminum cans. If you're going to be working on your portfolio for maybe a brewing company, there's some glass bottles, there's paper tote bags, uh, 
wire bound notebook and stationary mock-up brochure mock-up magazine mock-up all kinds of really amazing templates you guys this is perfect for my portfolio builder students you to just jump in grab one of these things there's even a women's t-shirt mock-up where was this yesterday or wednesday when i made my uh here, i'll click the download button while i'm talking where was this yesterday when i was making my own t-shirt mock-up so on wednesday's video i did a t-shirt mock-up if you haven't seen it there's also a dropbox link there for you to download the assets to follow along but there's some really amazing resources in here you guys for those of you who are building your portfolio and shameless plug this video is sponsored by the portfolio builder course i don't have any commercials on my account you guys because i have these courses for sale so when you guys buy those courses it helps me out and of course for the best deals check the links below and don't forget when i fly through videos like this I always say this, usually I say this at the beginning, but you can play faster or slower or pause, rewind if I go too fast for you or too slow for you. And uh, anyway, I hope you guys learned some really awesome things here and, and take the time to check out these templates because I really think it's going to help you out when you're building your portfolio. All right, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Tap the little bell to get notified when I roll out new videos. Currently, I'm publishing new videos every Wednesday and Friday. And that's it for today, guys. So leave your comments below. If you're in the Facebook group, actually, one more thing. If you're in the Facebook group from the Portfolio Builder course, uh, or if you just want to join, there's a link below for that as well. It's complete graphic design. Take some of these templates, you guys. And I want to see you posting your artwork. And I challenge you, take one of these templates, put your artwork to it, and then go post it to the group. So I can't wait to see what you guys do. Have an awesome day, and I will see you in the next one.